is a heartbreaking investigation, one that has rattled trained police officers and devastated two Marshalltown families. Yeah, they're dealing with the unthinkable, each losing two loved ones in a fiery car crash. The community remembered the four young victims this evening. From wreckage to remembrance. I've been a police officer for almost 30 years. This is the worst crash scene I've ever seen. The impact from Friday's deadly crash in Marshalltown's 1800 block of South 6th Street has been heartbreaking for family, students, teachers, and first responders like Marshalltown Police Chief Michael Tupper. It was difficult for the first responders to have to investigate, and uh, we're, we're, uh, we're helping the first responders work through the grieving process. A two minute moment of silence at Monday's Marshalltown Community School District School Board meeting paid tribute to 17 year old Yanitza Lopez, her 15 year old sister Lynette, 16 year old Isaac Lara, and his brother, 13 year old Adrian. I can't imagine the sadness, the outrage that their families, their loved ones are probably experiencing and will be experiencing for quite some time. The Lopez family tells me Yanitza was an aspiring nurse thanks to her after school work at the Willows of Marshalltown Assisted Living. While she had a passion for caring for those 65 years and older, the combined age of all four victims involved just an hour after Yanitza's shift that night was 61. They were great kids and well liked by everybody that knew them. As questions continue to swirl within the community, investigators continue to search for answers themselves. Our work continues. We're far from done. And uh, again, our commitment to the community is that we're going to conduct a complete investigation. The Lopez's say the sisters did everything together, including cheerleading for Marshalltown High School. They say Yanitza and Isaac were dating, and the recently crowned homecoming queen hoped for a bright future together. This has had a devastating impact on our community. Lives that lit up their family's world, now lighting a path to a touching memorial. It's when something like this happens, and we've had more than our fair share of tragedy, the community comes together, and they're going to support these families. And police are urging anyone with information to contact the Marshalltown Police Department. Any tips, small or large, can help. Two online fundraisers have been set up for both families. For more information on how to donate, visit our website at who13.com.